Can you believe we're almost halfway through the year already? It was full of ups, but also had a few downs, like Game of Thrones Season 8. But we are here to talk about games. In this video, we're going to list 10 games that really failed to deliver this first half of the year. They're not necessarily the worst games, but just the ones that disappointed us the most. Now get ready for some heartache and crushed dreams. Alright! I will do my best! I'll lay you down on the mat gently. Don't get us wrong, Dead or Alive 6 is a pretty good entry in the fighting game franchise. However, we're very disappointed in the fact that the developers are still trying to milk gamers dry with expensive DLC. The first season pass costs $93, and it only gets you all the new content released between March and June. Come, attack me if you dare. Dead or Alive 5 had over $1,300 worth of DLC by the end, and it looks like this game is going to be just as bad. Rampage. <laughs> Bored as I am, perhaps you're just lazy. If I didn't love you so much, I'd kill you just for something to do. We loved the first two Darksiders games, so we were super hyped to finally get a new game after seven years. However, Darksiders 3 did not live up to the hype. This game is a step back in almost every aspect. The camera is terrible, and the enormous amount of bugs make it almost impossible to enjoy. We also don't like the new protagonist Fury and her battle against the Seven Deadly Sins. Darksiders 3 is a low-budget game that really can't keep up with its big brothers. The trailers of Rage 2 promised us an over-the-top shooter in the vein of Far Cry, Blood Dragon, and Bulletstorm. This turned out to be just a bunch of marketing hype. The final product looks nothing like the craziness that was presented in the trailers. The open world feels empty, and the story is incredibly bad. It's very hard to care about anything that happens in this game. The gunplay is pretty fun, but we expected a lot more from Rage 2. What's the situation down there? Safe. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Just Cause has always been a series that's all about dumb fun. We really enjoyed Just Cause 3 and we're looking forward to a sequel. Unfortunately, Just Cause 4 turned out to be a huge bummer. Luis, right? Organize these people. Anyone who wants to fight the Black Hand gets to fight. The game feels uninspired and lacks new ideas to keep things fresh. The story and missions are incredibly boring, and it didn't take long before we simply lost interest and stopped playing. Having really good-looking explosions just isn't enough anymore. Hey, come on, goddammit. Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrying little ass? Come on, what do you say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Days Gone was hyped up as the next big PlayStation exclusive for years. This game about a tough biker who has to survive in a post-apocalyptic world should have been something special. However, it turned out to be just another open-world game with zombies.
the missions are repetitive, and the story is incredibly cheesy. Sony knocked it out of the park with God of War and Spider-Man, but Days Gone is its first big miss. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back. But only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. Driving was promoted as the next big racing game from the creative talent behind the Burnout series. Burnout Paradise came out in 2008, so you can imagine the excitement among fans. Unfortunately, Dangerous Driving turned out to be just an okay racing game. We certainly hoped that the crashes would look a lot better after 11 years, but they really don't. The game also doesn't have a soundtrack, which makes it feel very low budget. Burnout fans deserve something better than this. But I promise you this, come tomorrow, we're all gonna be walking around wearing shiny snake skin boots. Crackdown 3 has had a troubled development cycle since it was revealed almost five years ago. It switched developers a couple of times, so we should have known that it wouldn't live up to the hype. However, we were still shocked by the final product. Crackdown 3 looks and plays like a game that came out on the Xbox 360. <laughs> it completely fails to deliver on the things that were promised in the first couple of trailers. Crackdown 3 is still fun, but definitely not worth $60. Light em up! Uh -huh. We've always had a soft spot for the LEGO games, but the latest one is just straight up bad. The LEGO Movie 2 video game doesn't have the unique humor that makes these games so great. The gameplay is repetitive, and the game doesn't have any interesting puzzles or locations. Nice work. That should help you get up onto the statue and reach the lookout point. You can tell that it was made on a small budget and rushed out the door. It's a shameless cash grab aimed at parents that don't read reviews. Force was announced as one of the most ambitious crossover games of all time. It features characters from popular franchises such as Dragon Ball, Naruto, and Bleach. Fans were very excited, but they ended up getting slapped in the face. It has a very basic combat system, which is a huge problem for a game that's all about fighting. The computer-controlled enemies are incredibly dumb, and the story is just plain bad. Jump Force is an insult to anime fans around the world. Out there, you will fight the unimaginable. Anthem has been the biggest disappointment of the year so far. This is a textbook example of a game that couldn't live up to the massive hype. Anthem was promoted as the next big online shooter by the developers of Mass Effect and Dragon Age. It was supposed to be strong competition for Destiny, but it turned out to be a massive failure. The game that was released felt like a beta version that was still full of bugs. 
The gameplay is also very underwhelming, and it ended up getting terrible reviews. Anthem shows that even the biggest games can crash and burn. Those were the 10 games that disappointed us the most in the first half of this year. Give us your own personal top 10 in the comments, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time! Stay down, brother!